anyway, well, hold on. Let me just back up a second. I wanted to say thanks for uh, thanks for having me on, and 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 the way that you're you know conducting your your channel, I think, is a really positive way to do it because um, you know, like I said, when you look at other people's channels, like they're like most of them uh, just you know attack rather than have a conversation about it, and you make assumptions about where the person's coming from, and and like you know all that stuff. So I respect that you didn't do that. And that you actually took the time to get to know what the flat earth arguments are because most people like I, you know, I read a lot of comments in YouTube when people want to attack flat earth, they say the most retarded shit. Like, you know, it's just, you know, like they've clearly never even talked to a flat earther. So I really respect that, that you've actually made the effort to, I, I really appreciate that, man. And secondly, um, there, there was something I do want to ask you about because this is more on the math oriented side and that's, you know, my big handicap there. So, uh, have you, uh, I, would, I think we were talking about it in an email. It was um, that Corey Kell guy and his um, and the way he was uh, measuring the angles of the sun, the military science stuff for artillery firing. Is this the flat Earth Intel guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, yeah, is, that, okay. is, that is that all gobbledygook or what? Yeah, like, it's, have you, have you... it's utter, it's utter <sighs> gibberish. It doesn't. Can you, I mean, can you... would you get anything out of watching that other than some guy? Here, here's what I got out of it. I got some guy did the research. And he's reporting back to me that the earth is flat and he gives me reasons, but does not show me the proofs of those reasons. Well, I'm sorry. And, and if I, if I were then that leaves me back at the same old situation, I could a do the research that he claims to have done myself. I could repeat all that research and see if he's right. Or I could be, trust him because he says he did the research or I could see dismiss him because I don't agree with him. And let's be honest. I just did see, I said, yeah, this guy's fair, just full of it. Fair enough. Did <laughs> you, well, did you go to the, did you go to the website and see what he was talking about? Or are you just I, I did. basing that off I, of what I said? Oh, okay. I, I, I did go to the website. Um, uh, you were the second person to send it to me. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I had already seen it by the time you sent it and, and oh. I kind of chuckled and then, um, yeah, it's so what, funny. What, what was, what's like, what's like funny about it? Can you explain it to me? No, but well, yeah. There you go. I, That's I my on. whole point, right? Okay. Well, how much, but you, didn't but, you, say but, anything. but you, but you have the mathematical capability to do that, to like to understand what he's saying. And it would be cool if you, you know, took an actual look at it because this guy okay. seems to think he's got it down to where it's not, it's not a matter of like, you know how we were saying like, oh, well, if the ISS isn't real, does that prove this or that? This guy's saying he's got conclusive proof based on the angles that he got. So, he I, so, I, so, I, so I was wondering, yeah. So I was, I was wondering if you could like do a breakdown on that or something because he's, because okay. he's super got a uh, super quick yeah. breakdown of what he did not do. Okay. Um, he does not seem to think in three dimensions seems to be thinking that the two-dimensional side view of the earth is all you need to know. Um, but obviously you can't model a 3D sphere rotating on an axis in just two dimensions and get the answer correct. So he does not seem to have done that. And then on top of it, he, despite the fact that he's showing on the slide that he knows the sun is supposed to be 93 million miles away. He then draws a diagram where the angle to the sun is 45 degrees for some reason. Yeah. Oh, and that's, that's not it, possible. The, I think the reason he was doing that was because they say, I don't know, man, Dude, I, there's like three videos about it. Like I literally, you know, you have to, you know, I don't know, man, because <laughs> he, he's, he's, you're right about that. But he's got explanations for it because he's been on like three times or whatever to explain it. And I think one of the times he was on with Jaron, uh, he had some there was another guy, too, that did, a, did the uh, presentation in CAD and they were like walking through it. And it kind of made a lot more sense. But I haven't uh, I didn't I haven't watched it recently to like brush up on it. Yeah. As near as I can understand. But basically, um, hold on, but basically his, there's. OK, uh, you, you I was going to say basically he's saying that. Um, between the Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn, the sun is always um, 90 degrees to someone, right? And, that, and that's how yeah. he's like, that's how that's how they're like deriving all this. And it's not necessarily the 93 million. 
uh, Miles, it's just like it, it's that it's that direct angle, you know. And then he creates the box thing. I don't, I don't, I, and the timing. Like I didn't understand any of that shit. But you know, exactly. that, that's that's what dude was saying. And some other people were saying that it made sense. And that guy mapped it out in CAD, and it looked pretty reasonable. So I, I, I don't know. I was just, I just uh, yeah. okay. Um, I. I always wonder when I see those guys, I sit there and I wonder, does he know that he's full of crap and he's just having some fun with people who are not going to check his math because you didn't check his math, right? The yeah. other person who sent me this video didn't check his math. I didn't well, check no. it early, but I know enough to tell you that you know this. And this is what I like about it the most. You know that when the sun sets in the globe model, it's on the other side of the earth. Mm -hmm. So the angle to the sun is less than 45 degrees because it's behind you. It's like visualizing. Okay. On yeah. the globe model, it goes all the way around. So here he is trying to say that on the globe model, it can't go below 45 degrees. And I'm like, does anybody buy this? No, no, no. Not that it goes below, that it goes higher than 45. Or it goes over 45. Well, it goes all the way around. Right? We all know it goes all the way around. So there's no angle it can't go to. Oh, okay. I got you. Okay. Right? Fair enough. I mean... Fair I, I guess so I have, I'm having who comes and says, Oh, it can't go below or it can't go above, or yeah. I don't understand why anyone would even listen to them. Hmm. And yet many of the flat earth community do listen to him. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't know how to figure that out, you know. I guess because <laughs> I I mean I don't well, but 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 here's the deal. You don't know how to figure it out. And I dig that. You don't have to know. But you know enough to know that in the globe model, it goes all the way around. Yeah. So when a guy comes to you and says, yeah, but in the globe model, it can't go. Is it, is it above 45 or it can't go below 45? Uh, can't so. go above 45. And it's based on, oh, okay, wait. So what, hold on. It has to do that. That was that was what had to do with the timing thing about measuring it at certain times because it's it's fifteen degrees an hour or whatever. Oh, okay, yeah, I caught that one. So, I did so, catch that one. So so that that was what he was saying of how he you know quote unquote added accountability into it because right. and he was talking about how that was from the military science side of what he was doing and then that's how it got into the artillery okay. stuff and weapon systems and uh and so does does the would it would have to be. Uh, you know, within a certain amount of time, it can't be over 45. Okay, I think that's what right. it was. So, do, so does that make any more sense to it? Or it, is yes, it still gobbledygook? Yes, it, does. It, it, it does. And I remember watching that. Um, we're talking about Flat Earth Intel. Um, Michael Olson is asking. Oh. Um, right. He. We all know that the globe model says the sun moves at 15 degrees per hour. And that means in three hours, it should move. 45 degrees. Yeah, that's and the kind of math he goes I do and he right says, there. yeah, but it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's it. He says it doesn't. Therefore, I'm right. Um, and that's where I was saying he didn't measure in three dimensions. He measured on one axis. And no, it doesn't move 15 degrees on a single axis. It moves 15 degrees in the way that it moves. So if you measure it in in 3D and, you know, many, many people had done so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it does move at 15 degrees per hour. It, I mean, it does. And so if it ever went faster than that, what would that mean for your, you? I, if it was six, substantially faster than that, then yeah, it would look, mean the look, model isn't correct. Like if it came out to like 55 degrees, because I think the oh, highest yeah. one, I think the You're highest like, one is... What? I think the highest one you said was 55. I think maybe you should take a second look at it, man. But, or like but do no, a video on it. We didn't measure it in 3D. Oh, right, right. Yeah, you're saying that. Okay. He measured one of the angles, right? I mean, you, like I, I could try to do like the pointing thing. I mean, if you see it in 3D, when you go like this, 
Mm -hmm. right? That's I'm going up and down, but I'm also going side to side, right? So which angle are we talking? Are we talking the side to side angle or the up and down angle? And why would you think that either one of those individually was the whole angle? Mm. The angle is neither up and down nor side to side. It's around in a circle. And you're just cocked at an angle so that it it goes like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to reach out to them and ask them about that because I didn't, you know, I didn't, you know, I don't know enough to uh, to have that perspective to ask that. But yeah, that's that that's interesting because he because that's an interest that, you know. So anyway, I'll, I'm going to I'll get back to you on what he says, because he 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 gave the impression that he was super open to, uh, you know, talk to people and and uh, and answer questions and stuff. So hopefully he comes through on that because that that would be interesting because he might okay. have accounted for that somehow. And I just, you know, missed it or something. Yeah. Maybe he's, he's super got it accounted for. Um, yeah. Have you ever heard of something called an equatorial mount on a telescope? Yes. Yeah. Do you know how fast the equatorial mount moves? 50, is it 15 degrees per hour? It's 15 degrees per hour. Well, actually there's multiple settings, whether you want to track the sun, the moon or the stars, mm -hmm. because they all have a very slight difference in the rate. Right. So, but it's approximately 15 degrees per hour for all three. Mm -hmm. So if the sun did not move at 15 degrees per hour, everywhere on the earth, equatorial mounts would not work. Mm. Interesting. But they yeah, that's, a, that's a good, uh, so, you know, so I've, I've actually know heard, I've actually it heard 15 degrees per hour. Yeah. I've actually heard them talk about, the equatorial mounts and how they work and stuff. I can't uh, remember specifically what they say about it, but uh, I have to I have to look into that as well. Add a reference. Uh, Michael Olson wants me to add a reference in the description or pin after the stream. What reference? I, I just need the reference. Oh, to the uh, flat Earth Intel thing. To the um. Flat Earth, you mean you mean flat Earth Intel? Is that what you're asking for, Michael? Yeah, that would be cool to have someone model it that isn't a flat Earth. I, I, I could do that. I, and also, I'll say that Bob the Science Guy um, is doing a series on him right now. On on the on the flat Earth Intel guy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what was the guy's name? You said the Bob the Science Guy. Um, probably on Research Flat Moon. His channel is called Research Flat Moon. I'll type. Oh, in. this guy. Yeah, I don't know about all that, man. I'd rather take your word for it, bro. Well, yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know about that guy. Yeah. Again, let me let me remind you. Bob is nice, but this is um, you know Research Flat Moon. He doesn't swear. He doesn't call people names. Research um, Flat Moon. <laughs> but but you know he's an anti flat earther, and so. The bias is real strong to to hate him. Do you know if Bob the Science Guy has any videos up already about that? Because I'm super he's interested. He's got one. In that. He's got one up already. Um, uh, you know, the, the intro, you know, yeah. The title of it. No, I I don't. I don't. Oh, shit. I'll but, I'll, uh, I'll take a look. Yeah, for if it. you if you really want, maybe I'll try and find some time to show you. But I, I don't think I need to because you know about equatorial mounts. So if anybody yeah. tells you the sun doesn't move at 15 degrees per hour, your response ought to be, but equatorial mounts work. How, how is that? What's going on? Um, right? Yeah, one sec. Different angles. So if you can explain to me that an equatorial mount will not track the sun, that would be, that would be a, a revelation, I think. I think yeah. all of the amateur astronomers all over the world would suddenly be quite shocked. Um, For sure, dude, that's crazy. If uh, if he came on just a just a lie, <laughs> that's nuts. Well, I, I don't know. I'm I'm always very curious about it. There's I see I see two scenarios. One is he's trolling hard. He thinks it's funny as hell that people will buy anything that he shovels because they just want to accept it. Um, I usually get, I mean, you can usually get a vibe from those kind of people, you know, like, I don't know. Like, I just don't get that vibe from him. He seems genuinely honest and open about it. 
So, so I, yeah. I so it, it didn't strike me as like someone that was trying to, you know, troll everyone. But yeah, I don't the, know. I mean, the other possibility, the other possibility is that he's convinced that he's found something, um, and he's just he's just wrong. And but he's yeah. so focused on the joy of his discovery that he won't he can't bring himself to just sit down with somebody who says something like what about an equatorial mount um he he can't he, he, there's no room in his brain to accept that an equatorial mount exists and works and he's in some way he's still being honest because he doesn't accept the equatorial mountain and he won't and can't for some reason. Yeah. I think that the human brain has space to do that. There's room, there's room to do that. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm going to see what he said. I'm going to reach out and see what he says about it. I'll keep you posted. Yeah. Cause... Ask him about that. See, see if he has an answer for you. Um, Cause it seems to me, that's I mean, that's the end of the conversation. We don't need to do simulations. We don't need to do the math. We can just say equatorial mounts work. So whatever you want to say, the sun moves at 15 degrees per hour. Right? Yeah. We have no, to at yeah. least accept that. And then, you know, then we can argue about what that means. Right. We can we can still have the discussion about does that mean it's flat? Does that mean it's curved? We ought to at least agree that it moves at that rate because kind of does mm, yeah 